Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Uh, this is going to be the second part of my career vlog series. Um, if you haven't watched the first video already, I will have that linked in the description box below. Um, but in this video, we are going to start off by visiting Gyeongju for a couple of hours. But more excitingly, we are going for our temple stay. This is something I've been really looking forward to this trip and it surely didn't disappoint. I'll give a little overview of our whole experience at the end, so let's just get into the video! Good morning! We are on day 5 in Korea and today we are going to a temple stay which is super exciting, I'm super excited for this um, but I don't know how much I'll be able to vlog I hope I'll be able to record something because I think it'll be so cool and fun um, So yeah, I'll keep you updated We are going now to the train station to get the train to Gyeongju And we're gonna have a walk around before we go to the temple uh, And we picked up a little snack mm. Good Hello, we are at a tomb complex apparently um, And there are lots of tombs of Korean kings here, for example. This one is a tomb. So, yeah. Oh, you can go in. We're gonna go in to look at some. I don't know what. This is what it looks like on the inside. And then there's some like exhibition things, I guess. No, it's a tomb. This is a tomb, but where's the body? We found a stamping station, so we're stamping my my travel journal. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Damien. Okay, I think I did something wrong. You think? This is a tomb of a king. This is the tomb of King Jo. This is supposed to be an astrology observatory, observatory kind of thing. Apparently, they would use a ladder to climb up there, and then inside there is another ladder to go up there, and that's where they are looking at the stars. We're gonna try this banana milk for the first time. I've never had it before and neither has Damian. Cheers. Tea. Mmm. <laughs> what do you think of it? Yeah? Mmm. Oh, this is not bad.
Look me, look me. Whoa! Look you, look you. Yeah. <laughs> and after that, Damon and I headed to our temple stay. Hello, so Damien and I arrived to our temple stay and we've done our check-in and now we've gone to our respective rooms. I don't know if I've mentioned it but we have separate rooms for guys and girls. So I'm in the girls room and I should be sharing the room with one other girl but I guess she's not here yet so I wanted to show you the room. Here it is. Ta-da! So we'll be sleeping on the floor um, and that's pretty much it actually I've already put my stuff down so yeah that's our room um, we also have um, a little uniform kind of thing to put on so I'm gonna go get changed really excited for this experience this is the uniform we have to wear And this is me setting up my futon bed. After that, we had a short session of meditation a session of yoga-like exercise and we also did the 108 prostrations which was actually so difficult um, before we had our dinner at the cafeteria which was some very delicious vegetarian food. The next day started very early in the morning at 4.30am because at 5 we had our morning chanting session followed by a meditation session. And after that, we got to have breakfast at the cafeteria again. Followed by our Sumudo training. Before sharing some videos of us practicing Sumudo, I wanted to share a bit more about what it is. So, according to Korea.net, Sumudo is a type of meditative martial art that combines spiritual elements such as meditation, yoga, and qigong with dynamic striking and defensive techniques. And a little fun fact, our trainer for the day was actually this guy on the right in this photo. And Sun Mudo is a lot less known than other kinds of Korean martial arts such as Taekwondo and Hapkido. Um, so there are not many places practicing Sun Mudo. However, the temple that we were staying at is considered the home of the martial art. In fact, tourists were traveling out from the more popular cities to get to this temple to watch some Sunmudo demonstrations, which I believe happens every day except for Mondays and Tuesdays. And now here are some videos of us during our Sunmudo practice. Three, set, set. With all these exercises, we made our way up and to the other end of the temple land where there is the main Buddha hall, the morning chanting hall, as well as the iconic rock carved Buddha statue. And since we were at the top of a hill, we had a gorgeous view from where we were. After that, we had a little break before we had our dharma bell ringing. So after a little demonstration, we each took turns to ring the dharma bell three times, which was a very special experience and I'm not sure I will have the opportunity to do something like this ever again.
And after that, we had our last meal of the temple stay before we checked out and headed off. Hi! Why is it looking so dark? Hello, we are leaving our temple stay. There it is. Do you guys see a squirrel? Oh, I see it. There it is. Do you see it? I'm afraid we will scare it. Look, it's a squirrel. It's a cutie patootie squirrel. Anyways, as I was saying, we're leaving the temple. This is the main entrance. And we are going to be taking the um, bus to go to... Gyeongju, where we will take the bus to go to Daegu where we will take the plane to go to Jeju so many oohs uh, but yeah we will have a bit of time in Daegu so we will probably walk around for a bit explore the city and then we are headed to Jeju for six days so yeah that's the plan for today see you guys later go <laughs> Again? <laughs> Zen is telling me that it was not it. She's gonna show me that pose. The fighting pose. <laughs> show me again. <laughs> Helicopter, helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> we are at in Daegu and we are now in a fried chicken place. We have fried chicken and beer. Chimek. We got our beers. Mm -mm. First time having Korean beer. Check it out. Look at that! Wow! Hi guys! We're at the airport. It looks like a shopping mall. It's so funny. Um, we are going to catch a flight to Jeju. I know it's not very uh, environmentally friendly, but it was either this or a long ferry ride. Um, and so we thought this made more sense given that we have not much time in Korea. So yeah, we're gonna take the flight and go to Jeju. We've arrived to Jeju! And that's all for this vlog. Um, this temple stay was truly so enriching and humbling. Um, there's just something about living so simply in nature that made me really grateful and mindful about what I was doing and I really enjoyed the whole experience. Um, one thing that really surprised me during this stay was how much I liked meditating. Um, I had given meditation a couple of tries here and there in the past before but I never quite enjoyed it or saw any benefits to it um, but practicing meditation at the temple in that setting that was so calm and meditative um, was a really different experience for me. I really enjoyed it and I could go on doing it for a really long time I think. Um, but yeah, I think this whole temple stay was really so special and I'm so grateful that we decided to do it and if it's something that you're considering, I really highly encourage you to give it a go for your next vacation if it's possible. And with that, I'm going to wrap up this video. Um, the next video will come out on Saturday and it will be our week in Jeju, which is pretty exciting. So I will see you guys then. Bye, thank you for watching.